shows us what's going on right now. We're here in the Port Clyde section of St. George, where a devastating fire destroyed the general store and a couple other buildings late last night. We were called last night about 1040 in the, in the evening um, for a structure fire. Um, the Dipnet restaurant was on fire when we got here. The Monhegan Boat Building was on fire and the uh, Port Clyde General Store. St. George's Fire Chief Michael Smith believes the fire started at the Dipnet restaurant and spread to the surrounding buildings. Locals tell me they saw the flames blocks away from their front windows. It's heart wrenching. Like it actually physically hurts. Like because you can't do anything but watch as it like burns down. They were blocking the traffic and he said it was gone and it was just crushing to hear that. I lost everything. Multiple crews from the surrounding area like Thomaston, Rockland have been battling the fire throughout the day. It destroyed the Dipnet restaurant, Wyatt Gallery, which housed thousands of dollars worth of paintings, as well as the Monhegan Boat Lines and Port Clyde's General Store, a staple in this community. Especially there, the, like if you come in, like I went to breakfast on Saturday, every Saturday, and everybody would like, they know my order. Like it was just nice. Even the new people who the, the exchange students and stuff, they all knew. There were people living above the General Store at the time, but thankfully no injuries have been reported so far. Chief Smith, like many I spoke to, is a local of St. George and tells me this is a significant loss for this area's identity and economy. This, this will be a loss for the town and it'll be a loss for uh, Monhegan Island there because a lot of people go through that store going to and from Monhegan. Knowing that the worst is behind them, locals tell me the goal now is to assess the damage and hopefully rebuild in a few years. Reporting from Port Clyde, I'm Miles Hood for Maine's Total Coverage.